Hey folks, welcome back to Penguins. I uh, hope you're having a great day today. I'm uh, I'm sick with strep. My entire house has strep throat, yay. But I need to get work done, so we're gonna keep doing it. Today's video is gonna be about, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna expand housing and then we're gonna kind of try to start that process of doing it um, because I wanna have a higher population of penguins. But with the higher popula population of penguins and expanding further away, comes a variety of challenges that are going to uh well make expansion much more difficult i'm looking up at my medicine section of my uh resource tab up there i'm seeing we only got 12 herbs left a penguin requires two herbs to heal so when their health drops to zero i just want to talk about it when their health i want to find somebody who's yeah right here when their health drops to zero all right they need to go and get herbs to replenish that and then they're back to 100. penguins health is going to stay stagnant it is not going to drop when they are inside a building or when they are in range of these coolers and that's the real perk of these coolers is that if you're in range of the cooler your health doesn't drop so this guy here for example he's got 34 health but his health bar is not dropping because he's in range of the active cooler and uh, so far, the organization of my island does not have that considered. I've got a lot of different coolers. And so for the most part, penguins that are moving around, they're staying healthy-ish because they're largely staying in range of coolers. But you'll get big patches like all of this over here where there's no protection. And so this guy here, as he moves outside the range of the cooler, his health that little thing goes away and then his health starts to drop as he walks outside and it drops pretty quickly you know now that he's in a building he's fine but it drops pretty quickly so you'd want your penguins walking around as little as possible at least as little as possible outside the range of coolers which leads me to that's my first problem i would like to expand housing to be more efficient with coolers and to be able to drop in more decorations like this and have it affect more penguins because right now this decoration it's only affecting three houses i mean cool i guess this one here uh two houses and it's the same two houses that are already affected by the other one so this is mostly just pointless if i take a look at this decoration happiness is being helped by both vases so like that's still good but that's a very expensive vase 30 gold 10 stone, you'll see how expensive 30 gold is in a second. Uh, it's not worth it, right? What I would love to be able to do is to have one of these vases affect a minimum of four houses, but probably and hopefully five or six. So how would I do that? Because you just not have space, right? You have to like basically surround houses with these things, right? I would like to purchase this plot today. We're going to have kind of specialized islands. I'd like to have this be a residential area, have uh, penguins, just all the penguins just live over here. That's all they do. That's the only thing this entire island is good for is living. Maybe we could use the coastline if there's, you know, if the spacing works out and there's just extra space, maybe we could use this coastline. We'd have to, of course, put towers in place and stuff uh, to defend that. But I would like to have a place like that. And I could afford it. It's only cost 210 out of the 328 I need. But my issue with this is that if I start a residential area over here, they have to walk a really far distance to get to their jobs. And that means health dropping constantly on the way. The builders have it the worst because they are walking around and, you know, building house, building things, uh, and they're doing so outside and their, their health is dropping. And so I've noticed that my medicine the herbs are disappearing faster now that I have twice as many builders. I've got twice as many penguins sucking them down. And one herb collector is just not enough. So I've got two additional, ironically needing the builders to go out and walk around outside again. Uh, I need, and, and, and while they're building, it's kind of it, kind of silly. But while they're building, they're considered inside a building because that is their job. So when they do get to their job site, their build site, it is paused even though they're standing outside. Um... But that's my issue right now is I have a really hard time with medicine. Okay. Herbs specifically. So a penguin needs one medicine to 
cure themselves uh, from 0% to 100%, they need one medicine, but they take two herbs. So at the moment, I have only enough to heal one penguin full of herbs until I can get them working over here. So we're definitely going to want to reshuffle some jobs to get people who are really efficient at their job to start working in herbs. Um, and so I'm going to find find adult penguins that are, you know, really good. I think the builders can probably pull back a little bit. I think I could probably just pull back on the builders entirely. Uh, and then I'm going to go in and say 30, 35% efficiency is going to have to be fine here. Um, for this job, I guess I just took away the only builder that was working on it, didn't I? <laughs> uh, that can happen, I guess. Another builder will take its place. There we go. And uh, and then we can go in and, again, make sure we get really good ones. This was one that's 47 now, actually. So I'm going to pull that one in over here. So now the, the problem is, is that when they're done getting their herbs, they're going to have to cart it. They're going to have to take it over somewhere, right? And uh, right now, the only place that holds this stuff is the pharmacy. Now, this isn't a good spot for the previous herbs collector, but it's not a good spot for the new ones. So I'm going to take this house away. And now we have just enough housing for the number of penguins we have. And that's not great. Uh, did we did we already get our newcomer ramp? Uh, yeah, two penguins joined. Okay, so we already got the newcomer ramp. That's good. Um, I would like to put a pharmacy right here. So I'm going to place this right. Uh, yeah, we'll, put, we'll face it towards the center of the island. It's fine. And then let's have that be the highest priority build. Okay, what I'm hoping that happens now is that these guys can collect it and then they can drop it off in this pharmacy and that will help us kind of keep up with it. The next task is the high range cooler. I'm gonna talk about that too. Okay, for the high range cooler, let's get rid of this builder's hut. I'm just not gonna have another one. And then I probably need to shift. We're gonna have a lot of buildings shifted around, all right? That's the long and short of it is we need a lot of buildings shifted around. Uh, if I was, if I knew the game better when I started this playthrough, of course, um, I would have looked at ways to optimize this. This is one of those things where, like, if you've played before, then you play differently. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Um, but it's okay. The game lets you delete and rebuild without a whole lot of consequence in doing that, just time. So over time, we can correct that. So I think I'm going to purchase this island. If I think, I mean, I am. And what I want to do is figure out how housing is going to work for the next four in-game years, okay? And what I'm looking at is I've got these I've got these houses. These are three by three. They're nice, but they can be nicer. Of course, mating rate is being low and everything. I do eventually want to get to a high rate, a high mating rate housing, okay? And that's stone housing. I'm going to my science tree. Stone houses have a high mating rate. Their resting rate is 150%. And their monthly happiness point is three. Their capacity is eight. Everything about this house is better than our current housing. It's also larger. So when I'm setting up my housing district over here, I need to take into account the space that the stone houses will have without being able to plan using the stone houses, if that makes sense. So those houses are three by five. So if I'm looking at this, I've got 158 gold left. I'm going to have to watch that. Uh, if I'm looking at this, right, we want to do the stone house that's here. There's another type of house, which we can only find with exploration. And it's actually pretty good because we'll be able to get it without any research cost. And that's a bungalow. It has one less capacity than the stone house. It has a medium mating rate instead of a high. It actually has 10% faster resting speed than the stone house, but it also cuts your happiness points down to two instead of three. But again, it's, it's free. You get this from exploration. If you find it, you just get this. This one is also five by three. So regardless of which one we find first, it's a five by three property. It's three by five or five by three. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing, right? So that's what we're going to look for. The bungalow is also cheaper to build. Stone houses require plastic, wood, and stone in large quantities per each for each one. The bungalow is still snow blocks and wood. Uh, really good. So this building, if we find this, I'm building a ton of them. It's also 30 gold to build one of these instead of 50 gold. 
though. Overall, I prefer the bungalow. I think the bungalow is a better deal. But it's still the same size, 3x5. So, shelters. Look at this. We're going to want to set up. I think I want this to be as far over as it will let me go. And apparently, I can go here, but it's. I want to go even further over. So, um, I'm going to have to be like here, I guess. Okay. And then on this side, we can go over one more because it's just the shape of the island. And I, I most likely will be going over one more because we have to factor in the idea that this house is eventually going to be bop, bop here. Okay. When it gets torn down and rebuilt in the same location, the location has to have room for it. So it's going to be one, two. And so with that being done, one, two, I now need to make sure that this house at least starts here at this location. But if I want to have things like coolers in range and power in range, I need one extra tile to have that work. And so we can have it be uh, kind of like this one. And then over here, there's that. Now, if I give it one extra tile, one, two, notice there's no extra space. You have, you have pathing, right? You, ha you have this reserved space for pathing. So even with that one, two, I still don't have enough room to place what I want. So I actually have to move this over one more tile. And that way, this will go one, two, and it gives me that one extra row where I can put coolers, power, decorations, right? That's the kind of stuff I want to make sure I have room for. So there's that. But I am going to line these ones up because, uh, well, reasons. Yeah, I don't want to slide this one over one because that just defeats the purpose of this one sliding over, right? So it has to have that extra room somewhere. And that's where I'm going to put that extra one. So over here on this side, I'll do this same thing. It'll be one and then two, followed by one. And then instead of being here, it would be here. And that would be moved over that one extra tile so that we could have a power provider over there. Okay. So if I was to do this, first off, laying in all the plans is going to, is going to cut into the gold. You, you pay for the, for it right away. So if I ever need gold, I have to tear these things down. But just as a demonstration of like how things are going to be spaced out we would go in and do something like this. And it looks to me like I actually have to give up an extra space on that side too. Yeah. Well, that's less than ideal, but can I move you through? What if I move you to be here? I guess it's still an extra space somewhere, right? Because it, because of the bridge, it's messing it up. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, that's just the way it'll be then. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's no avoiding it, so it's fine. All right, so from there, and then we go here, right, like usual. And then over here, we have to come back one, I guess, um, just, to, just to make it even, consistent. Okay, cool. And I guess it's okay to have that extra space because the bridge is here, so you would want to have you know, some extra walking room, some extra room to walk with the bridge being there. All right. So there we go. That's how the houses will be laid in. And then what we need to do at this point is we need, if I have enough gold, 70 gold, I believe is enough. What we need to do first off, we need to buy high range coolers from, from research. Those are done. The high range coolers are 40 gold to place. And what we want to see here is if we can position a cooler to get all eight of these, I highly doubt it, but you know, if I have a wind powered cooler is 11 di diameter is 10 wave powered cooler is 15. This one's 14. So yeah, this is the, this is going to be the longest reaching cooler in the game. And I won't be able to tell what its range is unless it's in range of a power source. That's the only time it'll display it to me. So I need the power source first. I have that extra room here for that purpose. So we're going to place this probably, I, I would say you probably have to be about here. I'm um, just trying to figure out where this cooler is going to go. Most likely it goes on that tile right at the edge of this power. If I had to guess. 
So if I had to guess, it would go right here. Yeah. So that's going to cover those six buildings. Uh, I could get away with putting it here. And I think that would be fine, but there's no point in doing that. Um, it, it doesn't get that corner house like you can see. But when I upgrade the corner house, it will shift the midpoint of that corner house over one tile. And I think at that point it does clear it. Uh, but likewise, it will. I will also be shifting the midpoint of the other house on the top left relative to the view that you have. I'll also be shifting that midpoint over one tile when I upgrade it. And that will take it out of range. So it's better for me to put it here because it's absolutely going to cover all the houses that it can it can cover. So um, I'm going to put it right here. So that's going to me, let me cover six houses with one cooler with enough room for decorations to also cover the houses uh, as they all level up and it's all nice and tight with power right here. And then that gives me this nice clear path for the road that people will take uh, straight from this side here. Okay. I don't know why it's not letting me make it. There it goes. Yeah, so it'll 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 work out that way, okay? Uh, all right, so that's how I want my housing done. But in order to build this, it requires penguins, like I said, to be walking outside all the time, and that's a real drag. So what we're going to want to do is give them some reprieve, and I can't do that without any gold, and I have no gold at all right now. So I have to wait or tear things down, which I can do. I can tear things down. I can take this cooler, for example, and tear that down because it's only covering one house. It's not really worth it. So I can take that away. There we go. Everything else is covered by power anyway. So whatever. It will all keep functioning. They just won't be happy. Uh, and that's going to give me 18 gold. I can take that cooler and I can do things like, like maybe putting it in range uh, of this bridge. I can put it like right over here or like right against the bridge like this. And at least then they will have some coverage as they walk across the bridge, right? They'll have a little bit of coverage as it, as it bleeds over. So uh, that's the kind of stuff that I need to look at doing because the more coolers I take away, the sicker everybody gets. And right now, like most of the time they're, they're under the protection of a cooler, right? This guy doesn't have it, but as he moves around, he does. So there's 34 th and then he's got it almost the whole way. Until right now, now it's 32, 31. Now he's at the build site. Now it's 30, 29. He's at the build site. He's building the pharmacy. Bar pharmacy build is done. 25, 23. There he goes. 20, 19, 16. Yeah, so like, he's... How are you not in... Oh, he's all the way over here now. I was watching the wrong penguin. But see, look at him. Like, the whole way to the build site now, he's going to get sicker and sicker all the way over there. It's not good. So we got to do stuff about that. We got to, we got to work on that. And, uh, I think July is going to be great because the annual support payment is going to be really helpful. And we're also going to get a little bit of a bump from killing that whale in June. We'll have that. We'll have that money. I can also request help from the King again, if I want to, um, it's, it's tempting because I can get medicine from him. Because everybody, like, it's zero and zero. So people are going to get sick. If any penguin gets to zero percent and cannot heal himself, that's a sick penguin. And he could just die. We don't want people dying from illness. They don't, they don't, they don't live very long when they're sick. So we're going to want help. And so I'm going to get 10 meds. It's going to give me a penalty. I'm going to get gold too. It's going to, again, give me a penalty, but uh, I, I need it. So I'm going to take the reputation penalty for 12 months on this. We are going to have... 500 points worth of points are going to go away in the next, you know, three months, uh, four months. So that's going to help uh, more than this penalty hits me for. So I think I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to grab like, I think 80 gold here and then maybe a little bit of metal. We we'll get eight metal too. So 290 uh, penalty here. Let's do, th let's do 85, 85 gold. 300 penalty here and then we get forgiven uh, in four months for a few other things too so if i look at the reputation right now yeah we're gonna have 500 points wiped out but then there's that 300 here so effectively i'm just 
going to be 200 points more than I was just at. So I should be at around 2,000 reputation in four months. Add in all the things I get for like building things and the, the whales in June and things like that. Let's have this house built first. Uh, you know, actually, let's have the coolers and the power built first. Because that way, when you're in here building, you're in range of the cooler while you're building these houses. That is the better way to do this. Uh, we should be having the, the coolers and the power should be the, the biggest thing for the builders right now. And I have five penguins that aren't doing anything. And you know what? Maybe I was wrong to take away the builder's hut. I think I was probably wrong to do that. I'm going to I'm gonna bring that builder's hut back so I can get those guys assigned to a job. Uh, building things. A five unemployed penguins is... That's no good. You don't want five unemployed penguins. It's such a waste. <laughs> uh, how's my exploration doing? It says 0.3 months to return, right? Yeah, they're on their way back. All right, cool. They're going to bring two penguins with them too, which is a problem since they'll be homeless immediately. So just to prevent them from being homeless, it might be worth just putting down an igloo. You know, just put down any, any old lodge just to prevent anybody from being homeless. Um... I could do it over here, I guess, but it's just a long walk outside without any coolers. So I, th I think I'd rather you be homeless. But if you're homeless, then you just get sick really fast because you have no shelter unless you have a workplace. And since you're unemployed as well, that's just a double whammy. I need to build another house over here. I'm just going to put a little lodge uh, over here somewhere, wherever it lets me do it. It's just so far away. But it's cheap, so build the cheap house, I guess. Alright, so I guess I can't have everything be prioritized, because then nothing is, right? So let's have the builders actually be the priority, and then we'll have this be number two, this be number two, and this be number two. And that way, the builders go, come first, we can get some reinforcements on building, and then uh, all the other structures can start getting built instead. Explorers arrived at the center! Two penguins have arrived at the center to join your settlement. You know what I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen the submarine return. So I kind of want to see the submarine. Oh, it just pops right up. <laughs> I wanted to see it come right back in and just, you know, but it just pops up in, in place. Okay, fine. So yeah, two penguins have arrived with them and they should have been two that were homeless, but we actually don't have that homeless issue because we had two penguins die of old age right as these guys arrived. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Anyway, so no homeless penguins, which means I don't need this house built anymore. Goodbye. This one does not need built anymore. I can get that gold back. So 94 gold. And all these guys should be helping me with build penguins. Yes, there we go. We have builders now. Builders, please go and build these two things first so that we can have uh, healthy penguins moving through here. And then again, I need power to power additional coolers. I want, basically, I want it to where every penguin who's done with work, they're going to walk away from this island. And the moment they get like halfway across this bridge, and even uh, on the bridge itself, because I want to have a cooler right here too. But um, basically, when they get to the home island where everybody lives, the residential island, I want the entire thing to be like a health safe zone to where they can go wherever they want in here and they don't lose any health. That way, no matter if you live on this side of the island over here or or right up next to the bridge, regardless of where you live, you have the same health decline uh, on your way home. The health, same health decline being zero, by the way. Uh, that's what I'm looking for here. You know, I haven't actually taken a look at these bridges yet. And they've got some really cool artistic style. I'm just saying it's kind of it's kind of cool looking what they've done with this place you now. Do all the bridges have the same look? Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? You know, I almost wish I could customize it, you know? I have like, I don't know, bright green, neon green life preservers or something, you know? <laughs> I don't know. It's something, I just change it to whatever I want it to be, you know? I kind of wish that was the case. Is there anything else I can do for their health? I mean, I mean, I can give them more happiness buildings. I'm going to work at doing that. We can get five additional penguins once I have... I don't really need it, though. We're going to be growing organically here. Of course, we only have, we have less than 20 health. 
or less than 20 happiness now, so maybe we won't be. But 22 medicine is good. 22 herbs are good. Uh, it gave us time to accumulate herbs because they were dipping into the medicine instead. So that gave us time. But the medicine is already gone. It, it was going to be used very quickly. Uh, thankfully, though, I've got three herbs collectors and there's another pharmacy now. And uh, I don't need it to be the primary pharmacy. I don't really care about that. At least I don't think I do. Do you... Yeah, you, you carry the supply into there. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Basically, I want them to like... They're done with work. They drop it off. They go home, right? Two homeless penguins. There we go. Okay. So two homeless penguins probably still need the houses, I guess. Turns out still still need it. Um, Let's do this. Because we're going to build that high range cooler anyway. So let's go ahead and activate that. And uh, we got... We had a couple of kids grow up. And that's why we have homeless now. Um, I just don't want you guys to be jobless. Put everybody on building. Nobody's jobless. Everybody builds. And then I guess the last thing to do is just, I got to get, I guess I do. I have to get housing. So, okay. We'll get a really cheap house over here. It costs almost nothing. We'll have that be a, a top priority then. And we'll have one of the builders. We'll just build that so that, uh, I mean, honestly, just build these. No, just build these. Don't don't bother with this. This this is stupid. Build this because now it's in range of the coolers. So now you can get in here and build these structures without having your health decline at, while you do it. That was the whole point. All right. Uh, the wind turbine idea. I, I'm gonna need. I want more housing over here, so I have to figure out where this wind turbine can actually fit. Um, you know, I can put it. You can say I can put it here, but. I can't because that's going to interfere with the house getting bigger later. So it probably has to be on this side. And if I'm going to do that, then it should probably be, yeah, like about here with one tile to go. Like it's about here, right? And then if I do that, then the high range cooler needs to be here. It doesn't fit there. Oh, why not? What you're telling me you'll let me put. No way. You'll let me put the power there, but you won't let me put this this thing here? Oh, I don't think you actually would. Uh, I know what's happening. It's a, it's a pathing thing. Um, but the path would go there. So like, you can't actually put that there. You could put it here, but then the path has to be reserved. So now you have to move it over even more. And then the path has to be reserved. So you have to put it over even more. Yeah, that's, that's what's happening here. So... Really what I need is to have this be about here. And then I can just get it out of the way. And now I can put this like this. So that's what I'm hoping to do. You can kind of see is, is to create a situation where no matter how far they walk in, they're going to be covered by, by this. And I want this to stretch out into the, the bridge too. So it's going out there into the bridge area as well. So we'll have them build, right? I want the house built first, this one only. And then once they're done building this house, they can then proceed to get these two things set up. And then the rest of the houses can be built from there. I think that's probably the way to go. Uh, so it's going to take a while. <laughs> Everything takes a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it. I think it will be anyway. So this will take care of our homeless issue. And I think we've navigated albeit with the king's help we navigated the the health issue the health pending health crisis and uh and now we've started building out a a nice penguin neighborhood over here that can be covered by the coolers right and i think uh we'll go in and i'll probably dismantle this building now and dismantle this one now I don't need them to build it quite yet, and I can get the gold back if I stop the building from being reserved. But these ones I want built because they're in range of that cooler. And then on top of that, we have... This is where decorations can go, right? We can have decorations placed right next to this because there's going to be space for it, right? We left space open for that exact reason. So this can cover all of these houses. I believe it'll cover, yeah, all of them. Um, I think it would, right? This is going to be butter up against here. So it has to be here if it's going to be anywhere. It has to be here. So it'll it'll be right there. We're going to put a decoration right there too. Which again, just increases happiness in that area. 
That'll be swell. And then as we get these houses all built, all six of these, I can then go in and tear down five of these or four. I'll just tear down four of these, right? Tear down four of these houses. The coolers that are uh, covering them can stay. There is a purpose. I've been, I've been told this three times now in the comments that, you know, don't build, you don't need to build coolers if there's no houses. Yes, you do. Because again, the health is an issue. The penguins will lose health as they are traveling on the surface as they're walking around. I've already shown you this. They will lose health as they are walking around to zero. And if they're not in a range of a cooler, if I don't put coolers anywhere near this house, oh, there's no houses here, no coolers. Okay, then you're going to have to have a lot more herbs. You're going to have to because their health is going to decline. And while they're walking around, that's what's going to happen, right? You want to get this status here to stop their health loss, which right now it's happening because he's in the ice rink. But as he walks, you know, to his workplace and everything, as they walk around, you know, this guy here is going to be a good example, I think, because he's gonna, he's about to walk into a cool a range of a cooler, right? So he's at 1% health right now. He's going to have to get an herb. But now, as he walks outside, it's not in a building. Again, he's in range of an active cooler. He, his health loss would be paused right now. Uh, it, 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 because it's zero, it's kind of a little more meaningless. But at least he won't be labeled as a sick penguin right now, right? But all the way home from that point, he was he was, he was good to go. So I want to find gaps in that. That's why I'm building this one. So these penguins on the bridge, let's see what this is going on. So we have health loss with this one at 27%, right? Let's watch this. 26, 25. Now it's preserved. On the bridge, it's preserved. You will not lose any more health. 25% is where he's at. Because that cooler is helping him. Is there a gap between the coolers here? No. Now, wait a minute. That just dropped to 24. So maybe there's a very small gap. They get sick and search for the herbs. No health loss when in the intersection area of an active cooler or inside a building. Interaction area. I think there's a very small gap between these two. There shouldn't be, though. No, there isn't. There's overlap there. Why did he lose 1%? He should not have lost that 1%. Where did he go? 37%. Let's test this. Let's see this. He's still in the active range of the cooler. 36%. Maybe it's just an overtime thing? I'm actually confused by this. That should not be happening. Right? In the interaction area of an active cooler or inside a building. That actually should not be happening. I mean, the symbol is right there. No health loss is what it says, but that actually is not true. This penguin is losing health. And they seem to be losing health just as fast as when they're outside it. Let's see. 18. Is it? Okay, well, okay. Okay, they lose health way faster outside it. I will give you that. Way faster outside it. And now he's going to enter another cooler now. But they still lose the health. They just lose it a lot slower. Weird. It's not pointless though. And then that was that was pretty that was pretty easy to see right there. They definitely lose it faster outside the cooler. So it's not pointless. Uh, but I thought it would be a zero health loss. It literally says in the text no health loss. So I mm, okay. I guess that's just the way it goes. I am still struggling to keep up with medicine. Still even with. Even with all these herbs, I'm having a hard time keeping up with medicine right now. Uh, wait, you get another herbs collector, man. I think I do. I think I need another one. Um, I don't know where I can put it, though. It's my only downside at the moment. I don't know where it could go. Um, yeah, like, if I go over here, I have to defend it. So I don't want to put it there. If I put it over here then it still needs defended. There's no there's no towers over here. I have to put it right up against this, I guess. This would be the only place where it would work, and there's still only one tower to defend it, and a whale is coming. But I think I will put it here. I can't put it here. There's no, there's no room for it. So this is a little far away from the pharmacies, though. Yeah. Maybe I can tear down one of the gar... I think I tear down the garbage collector... Or this, this trolling deck. Maybe I get rid of this. 
where the like, this gathering fish and everything, and then I move it over here. Because it doesn't matter if this is far away. We need another warehouse over here anyway. I, I need to just, in general, I need to reorganize all these buildings. We're going to be moving all the kids' houses away. Honestly, this one's only occupied by one child. This one's not even occupied at all. I only have 13 kids. So this is five kids. And then uh, these are five. And then there's over here. So like, I don't even need these houses. I could tear this down. And even if I tear that down, I still have this one as extra. So I could shift things around to where, you know, it would allow me to. Mm hmm. That's what I need to do, too. Let's do that. Uh, this cooler is in range of that power anyway. This power is powering all this, the, the plastic recycling and the snowblock maker and whatever. But we don't need this house. We can dismantle it. We can also dismantle this house. And so that cooler can go or I leave it because they, they, you know, they're walking outside. Um, this guy who's working in here because he's in the tower this is the part I don't understand. Like you're at the top of this tower, but you have no health loss because you're inside a building, right? It's a little odd. It's just inconsistent. Like you're, you're clearly exposed to the elements. So what gives? <laughs> I don't know, man. Penguins are a strange breed. I guess that's just how it goes. They're just really strange birds. Um, yeah, we, we need to keep up with medicine and, uh, I think I can help with that either by adding more herbs collection or by being smarter with my tower placement, which I think is probably ultimately where I need to go here is just to be a little bit more intelligent with how I place my towers is probably going to be where I go here. All right. So this guy's got, he's being attacked by two towers. I think, I think we'll be fine here. It'll get really damaged, but it shouldn't fall. Unless the whales are doing more damage. It got down to 233. Jeez. Maybe the whales will start doing more damage now. All right. Our annual support payment is 102. And it's considering our reputation. So we're getting 102 gold from that now. Now that the whale is gone. Ah, uh, you know. Now that the whale is gone, let's let's actually switch this up. I'm gonna put you here. More herbs there. Oh, maybe. I should, mm. You know what? No. Let's change the trawling dock. Trawling dock goes. Okay, herbs collector goes here. Yes, we want to go here with it. Absolutely, right here. Because then here, I can place one of these. Which again, gives me more cooling on the bridge to help this process. So I like that. So that'll be where the herbs get collected and then they can just go directly into that pharmacy. Uh, so we'll have this be max priority because I have some spare workers now. And then we're going to need plastic, it looks like, for the high-range cooler. Because these high-range coolers are uh, very expensive. Um, hopefully, I have what I need for replacing the garbage collection. Even though garbage collection is not that urgent. Got like 400 of it in stock. But uh, I'm not sure why it's... Where is it? Right here. Ocean garbage collection. So I can put this back where it was. Or I can put the trawling dock there. Um... Not sure which one I prefer, actually. Um, eh. Yeah, I think I actually prefer the... F mm. I guess it depends on where I'm putting the warehouse, right? There needs to be another warehouse. I can put it right here, and it doesn't really matter what I put anywhere. Because then the warehouse will just be right here next to it. But is this where I'm going to keep everything? Am I going to shift any other buildings around, you know? I don't know. Does this fit here? Uh, food. Trawling dock. Does it fit here? It does. Okay. There's enough space for this. And that makes sense to, to position it. 
So I'll need to have towers to defend. Which this is in range of the tower now. So I guess I'll slide it all the way over. You'll be here. Trawling dock will be here. The ocean garbage collection can go back to being exactly where it was with room for another here. And then we need another tower to defend this from the whales. We can put another tower. We can put like one right, right here. Probably two. Put two towers. One, two. Or right next to each other. Yeah. And that will help with uh, a structure that I decide to put here. Yeah, we'll just I'll just set this right here for now. Okay, that's how we'll build it. Uh, I want the herbs collector first, though, since we had zero on that resource. Uh, we're good on food for a little while. You know, we're, we're digging into our fish supply, but we're good on food for a little while. We got 45% productivity. Jonas going to be an herbs collector. Fantastic. And then we are making our own plastic. So it's just a matter of time before we get that going. Probably should get another plastic recycling station so we can have even more plastic, right? Uh, since the towers are taking a lot of plastic, it makes sense. We can go plastic recycling station here, and I can actually position it right here. That's not bad. Right next to where the garbage is coming in. I like it. Seems good, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna pos position that right there. More plastic recycling can go in, and we'll have that be a high priority too. Let's let's get that going. This has a oh come on now. Come on now. No. No way. Don't be like that. You bitch. I <laughs> can't believe it. It's out of range of this one and this one. Crazy. You guys are crazy. And by you guys, I mean me. I'm crazy. Uh, okay. Well, that's how that works, I guess. I have to slide this over. Um... The problem is, is if I, I can't replace this, if I move this, then this doesn't have any power. So I, I have to reposition a whole bunch of buildings in this case. I'd have to be, wow. Yeah, that is a real pain in the ass. Oh, that just happened. Okay. Well, we need extra power. That's what, that's what we're going to put here. Extra power is needed. There you go. We'll build that now too. Get uh, extra penguins on this. We'll go 44 and 40, I guess, is good for the garbage collection. And then I can't staff you until the power is built. But we have lots of builders, so let's get in here and do that. Okay, so uh, that tower is going in. So we're going to have that nice cooling tower covering most of the bridge. Now, we're going to be able to get people uh, safe as they move across the bridge with a, a little bit of a gap here in that coverage. So they'll lose health a little bit faster as they cross it. But for the most part, we're protecting them as best as possible on that journey. Uh, and we have a trader. Let's see what he has. Does he have medicine? He does have medicine. He does have medicine. Uh, it's not the most expensive item in his, in his grouping here either. So if I can go 10 medicine, I think that solves all my problems pretty quickly. We can then get caught up on herbs pretty easily. Um... I think maybe we'll go five though. I, it looks like we are gaining on medicine and with that new cooling tower in place and everything, like we should be using less meds anyway. So yeah, I'm thinking the medicine's probably good. The plastic is probably where I should focus uh, on getting. So I'm going to go with like, uh, let's go 50 plastic. That is, that's not even enough to build two more towers. So uh, let's at least get enough to build two more towers. We'll go 64 plastic. That's cool. That's two high cooling towers worth of plastic right there. Uh, and then I think we'll go like 10 metal here as well. So somehow I need to get 1285 value back to him. Uh, we can do a little bit of garbage. Is that worth it though? Like I'm, I'm literally going to give him a whole bunch more garbage than it would take to just convert our own. Do we just say no on this stuff right now? Right? I mean, I can't make my own metal, so I think I think maybe we will get metal, but not this much. But 
I don't think I play. I don't think I trade for plastic. I can make my own. The medicine, though, I, I want to get caught up on herbs. So I, I think I will get five meds at least. And then we'll give him. Yeah, it's a lot of garbage, man. We can collect it, but uh, snow blocks. We have a lot of snow blocks. Let's do that. Uh, we'll go. We'll give him 150 snow blocks. Let's go 200. 200 snow blocks for you. I don't even want to give him garbage, honestly. We'll just give him 300 snow blocks. Yeah, 300 snow blocks is fine. Uh, and then we'll give you a little bit of krill to make up for it. So we'll say, you know, like uh, 25. 23. That's good, right? A little bit of value there. We could maybe kind of play with the numbers here just to get this to be an even trade, if you will. You can go like 28. 27. There we go. 27 krill, 300 snow blocks for six meds and 10 metal. Jeez. I don't like these traders, man. I think they're crazy. Unlock the stone lamp and place the stone lamp. We're going to wait on that for a little bit. Uh, although stone lamp is actually pretty cheap. Um, gives two happiness points. It's not bad. It's a one by one too. Is that better than the vase? Where's the vase? That is better than the vase in almost every way. Yep. Sure is. You know what? We'll take it. And then where's that where's that vase that I put in over here? Whoops. Whoa, my camera got really screwed right there just now. There it is. Okay, the vase. I could tear this down. It's nice. But it's not as nice as the stone lamp is. It's got a wider interaction area too. Mm-hmm. That's going to be better. All right. So we got the tower to, to protect this trawling dock here. And we can go ahead and just get the nearest penguin into that. And start making your spears, man. Let's just go 30 spears there, too. Uh, okay. So this is like... I still have four unemployed penguins. I've got everybody assigned to every tower <laughs> over here. And I still have unemployed. So... I think it's time to, you know, we need to really ramp up our production on things. And to do that, I need to start getting rid of a lot of these houses and replacing them with recycling centers, right? Replace them with more plastic recycling stations, more wood recycling stations. Um, and then getting more of these garbage collection stuff around the outside. Uh, I can go in and just do uh, another one right here because I, I gave room. I, I had room for it, right? So I'll put that there. And then uh, I don't think this tower actually covers that, but that's okay. We can put another tower in too, just to make sure that this thing is protected. I thought for sure I'd be able to put that there, but I cannot. Uh, wow, it just doesn't fit there because it's like a path. You have to have the path. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I can put it here. I think that doesn't cover it. It doesn't cover this though. Well, my goodness, you know what? I, I'd probably just take this out and move it over two tiles and see if it still covers this building, but I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm mad at how the tower system works in this game. Uh, maybe we can just, you know, get to the ice cannons and then we'll just use those instead of all these towers and then we can eliminate all these towers and put the cannons there instead, right? How big are those? I didn't actually look at that. These are three by three. They are so huge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's as big as this. The instead of that, it's this. That's wild. Okay then. Anyway, uh, we've got lots of resources now, and this is the start of again, a start of a, a little better housing situation over here. It's obviously taking up a lot more space. But I think you can see resource-wise, we're smarter for doing it this way because we get room for decorations to cover like one decoration can cover six places, right? And uh, it's going to be way better than having like this arrangement where everything is pretty close together, but it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of organization to it. Albeit though, it's it's nice because they don't have to walk very far to get to work. And, uh, you know, we could always replace these towers with the bigger towers anyway and cover more of them. I think this one here probably goes as soon as I upgrade. If I upgrade this one and this one, and this one, then there's no reason for this one to exist, right? 
I could probably get rid of... I think I should get rid of this house and replace it with more plastic recycling so that I can have a lot more plastic. I'm going to do that, actually. I have extra housing, so I'm going to do that right now. We're going to get rid of this, and we're going to replace that building with an additional plastic recycling center so we can have even more plastic made from the garbage that's being collected right over here. And the warehouse that they're putting it into is... Where is it? I thought I had a warehouse put in right here. Didn't I? I thought for sure I had a warehouse being put in right over here. Well, when I get rid of the kid's house... Yeah, when we get rid of the kid's house... <laughs> we can put in a warehouse right here. And we'll just store all that stuff that we're going to be, you know, converting. There you go. Garbage collection here. We'll just get two of our, well, I say two of our brightest, but 15% uh, productivity don't give me a whole lot of confidence here. 25 and 22. Kind of uh, slim pickings now from the available workforce. Yeah. It's all right. The rest of these two guys will go and, and do these things here. And we have a lot of builders and everything as well. And all we're waiting for is plastic to build these things, but that's what we're that's what we're expanding to to make here, to make ourselves is more plastic. Okay? So this video is long enough. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. We're gonna get rated by seals, but you guys have seen that in the past. Uh they're not that big of a deal. We're not gonna have to worry about the seals. Um, so like it doesn't really matter if I show that to you or not. All right? Take care. We'll see ya. Bye bye.